In vascular plants, water and dissolved inorganic nutrients from the soil are transported upward against gravity in a cylindrical network of tubes called xylem that runs all the way from the highest leaves to the tiniest tips of the deepest roots. The process begins when diffusion and osmosis draw water into millions of microscopic root hairs and into the xylem of the roots. This event results in a positive pressure called root pressure that actually pushes the sap a short distance up the xylem towards the leaves. Then the forces of adhesion take over as the water molecules, which possess weak electrical charges, cling to the walls of the xylem tubes. At the same time, cohesion between the electrically charged water molecules causes a long, unbroken column of water to form inside the xylem. In fact, it is these same forces that cause perfect spheres to form when water droplets splash. Cohesive forces also create the surface tension of water, which produces the strong elastic film seen here. Working together, the forces of cohesion and adhesion produce an effect known as capillary action that causes liquids in narrow spaces to flow upward. However, none of these activities are as important to upward water movement as a process called transpiration that takes place inside the leaves. During transpiration, evaporation causes water to escape into the atmosphere through tiny pores in the leaves called stomata. As water is pulled from between the microfibrils of the mesophyll cell walls, crescent-shaped menisci are formed. As these become more curved, the surface tension increases, creating a negative pressure that pulls water out of the cells and eventually out of the xylem, resulting in what is called transpirational pull. Transpirational pull is powered by the sun, which provides all the energy for evaporation. That is why the amount of upward water movement is always at its peak during the warmest, brightest times of day and always at its least after the sun goes down.